Receiving Parts Overview Integrated Parts Tracking is one of the cornerstone workflow functions of MaxTrax. Receiving Parts tracks every part purchase to ensure your part purchases go one of three places. On the customer's repair order, on the shelf if the part will be sold within the next 90 days, or back to the vendor for credit. Sublet labor is tracked using a similar workflow to ensure you are billing the customer for sublet work where applicable. Let's review the four steps involved in receiving parts. Create a master part record. Enter the parts on a repair order. Create a parts order form. And enter the received vendor invoice. The order of these steps will change depending on the workflow method used. Let's break down each of the steps in this overview. Then we will review each of the four methods to receive parts with individual training videos. First, every part you purchase has a part record on the parts list, accessible from this part search icon. A part record can be created from the Add Part button following the Add a Part Wizard, or a part record can be created on the fly in the background from an integrated online catalog. The receiving parts method number one will utilize this shortcut. Next, the parts need to be entered on the customer's repair order on the service counter or on a parts invoice on the parts counter. Let's just look at a repair order. Highlight a labor, click the parts button, and we can select a part from the parts list. We can also go to one of these online catalogs, select the part from there, which will create a part record automatically for us if it's not on our parts list. Or we could start with a part placeholder and eventually replace that placeholder with one of these other two methods. Third, we create a parts order form. My workflow is set up to prompt me with a notice to order parts that are not available in stock, which is also the feature to submit an order online using an online catalog. This parts order form can also be used to make a stock order by using the autofill feature for low stock parts. By creating a parts order for all of your purchases for a particular job from the repair order, MaxTrax ties each purchase back to that job for reference, and it reduces your amount of data entry. Last, once the parts are delivered, we simply convert a parts order to a receive vendor invoice, aka a restock parts invoice. Click on the order parts icon, this is where our parts order forms wait for the parts to be delivered. Then we convert a selected parts order into a received vendor invoice, aka restock parts invoice. So the workflow is from part on the parts list to RO to parts order form to restock parts, also known as a received vendor invoice which is then paid or posted to accounts payable. We track sublet labor using the same workflow, except of course there's no online ordering for sublet labor like a tow bill. The idea again is to use a tracking system that ensures we're billing our customers appropriately using the actual cost to set our selling price and monitor profitability, and then ensure parts we don't use are returned to the vendor for credit. There are four methods to accomplish these steps that we just reviewed, depending on whether or not you're using online ordering, if you've purchased that part before, or if you have to create a printed estimate ahead of time for the customer using a placeholder. Please see the four training videos on receiving parts, methods one through four. And remember, an essential part of using the full accounting in MaxTrax is receiving parts. Full accounting users enter every part 
shop supply, and sublet labor that they purchase into Max Tracks before it's sold to track costs for financial reporting, purchase history for warranties, and accounts payable for accounting. And this concludes the lesson on receiving parts overview.